Hello everyone, Slyface here again with another video and as I promised in my previous video which I showed you my magic cards I am going to do some craftings today with you and for you um, I am not playing any PvK, PvP games, any custom games, any leeches or anything I used to be uh, Legend 1 and I used to receive the highest amount of uh, rewards on this leech but I am doing this because I want to show you every single battle how I'm using my every single tower and how I'm deploying them and what is my strategy and why is my style so I have a couple new towers which I craft um, two days ago uh, this fire tower is one of them half uh, white snowy thing on the front which is a bit more powerful than uh, normal fire tower and this um, uh, wizard so I did craft a couple of them and um, I did not improve them yet because I want to show you how to do this um I will show you a little example. I am gonna craft my Hornet Hafe uh, tower. So I have 203 from 100 um, shards. When you get uh, the shards which tower is requiring to you, you can craft a tower. So um, you just press it on the tower, no matter which tower you want to craft and you are crafting it for silver only so right now ladies and gentlemen i craft hornet hive which is legendary which is only five stars because it's level one and you can see from the start the damage is pretty weak but in my next video i am going to show you how to um, how to insert some uh, brooms in uh, the towers so you make them even stronger this is one from four because every single time you actually evolve the tower which is requiring level 55 and this amount of um, resources this will cost me 13,500 silver and it will give me plus one maximum count of uh, the towers I can deploy in the field I can deploy in the field um the maximum uh, level of the tower uh the maximum numbers of room which you can insert in the tower and depends of the dps of the tower so i can put some rooms in right now and i'm not going to do this today because i will keep them for another towers because they will um make up up upgrade soon of the game update and they will uh, um, they will just uh, um, insert a couple more new towers with the white snow star on the front which will make them powerful like this which I explained to you in my previous video about my towers which is in two parts um, you got your new tower you can see here you got one new tower and you take a look down and you can see this is my new tower right right now i will show the difference between crafting the tower and between just adding these shards to a tower right now i have 103 shards of 100 and if i craft this tower i will still have three shards for the tower but as the most people doing in the game they just fuse these shots like this and when you fuse a shot like this you can see the white tower in the front which means this is the tower for it you receiving one tower um, so they will be free from four you receiving some levels because the shards are really good and they give you some XP as well you receiving some damage as well which is 49 plus 233 per uh, overtime and uh, I will lose three shots 
right now. Confirm fuse? Yes, I will do. There we go. Now we have Hornet Hive level 16, 2 from 4. Right, if you go back and you won't see this tower like a new tower because you just craft uh, these shards in, in, into it. I will just lose my shards. As you can see now, I don't have them free shards as I supposed to have. So let's do it with an avatar to show you the difference. I will go for a horrifying tower, which is legendary as well, which is five stars as well, and one from four. This tower, I explained to you in my previous video what it's capable to do and how to use it mostly in the games. I will craft this for 4,500 gold, uh, silver, sorry. There we go, I have brand new Hornet uh, Horrifying Tower. As you can see, I have one more tower in my slot, I just have to find it. And yes, this is it, Horrifying Tower. Right now, you can see I still got left my 177 shards. And trust me or not, if you lose 77 shards, and you're just close enough to get 200 shards, this will be bollocks because you have to fight again for another 100 shards. So the best way you can do it and the way you should do it is you just crafting another tower like this. There we go. I have another new tower, which is obviously my second horrifying uh, tower. But the difference is I am capable to keep my 77 shards which ladies and gentlemen is a big tip about legendary towers magic legendary cards and all kind of cards in the game because believe me or not it's really hard to get them because on some levels they give you just two three four five of them in chest you can get two three four five of them if i do this again with my lightning tower I will craft two separate towers which will cost me each 100 shards and I will still got left 26 shards. I have a friend which playing the game and he told me he's struggling because every time when he gets 190 uh, shards from, from, from a legendary tower he need like 10 more shards to get 200 and he's saying I can't craft this because I will lose nearly 90 shards and I explained that to him and I said to him why this is really important I will do this one more time I will craft this lightning tower this lightning tower is requiring you uh, required uh, 100 shards for one tower one of eight and after this I will got left 126 shards there we go craft the shot uh craft the tower i still got one new tower which is my of course lightning tower but as you can see i still have my 126 shards so i don't have to lose shards for example if i go now and if i do this uh hello where are you lightning tower hello hello uh right i lost it uh hello oh there she is if i put my 122 shards in this lightning tower which is already craft i will lose 26 shards don't do this i will explain to you again go down tap on your tower which is lightning tower craft it from here you craft another one and I got another lightning tower it is a bit more expensive because when you craft a tower it costs you 405,000 silver but you have to consider to watch ads for every day for three months nearly four to get hundred shards or to 
craft the tower properly and you got some shards left as you can see i have 26 shards left and i am going up and up and up which means i will save a lot i won't waste my money in the shop which might be stars in the most cases like this so see this is the example there's 22 shards from uh, volcano legendary tower five stars from 100 it's costing you 82 stars and 82 stars are a lot if you have to buy them in the shop for example from the currency there's 84 this is it this is nearly two pounds we do not want to waste two pounds for this so you go in there you have two same towers which you just craft like this or like this horrid horrifying tower you press in one of them no matter which one you press infuse you go in there you press another one you can see this white tower thingy which means this is the tower you press infuse which is cost you only 45 silver i understand this this is nothing for four towers like this for 400 shards if you want four from four this will cost you like 200 silver but it's not worth it because you will lose 82 stars for 20 shards you know what i'm saying it's just just this is the smart way to do it if you're using it yes confuse fuse now i have two from four and i still got my shards left lightning tower same case pressing on the tower fuse is showing you which tower is for the fusing you can put the rest of them but they will pick only the level of your tower which is definitely not worth it so you just pressing on uh, on the, the fuse you just fusing your tower yes two from eight this is it you will save so much shards and you have chance to um how to say to to receive the towers you got more fastly than ever right i will show you another trick for example if i do want to craft this new stun tower which have white snow star in the front which cost me only five from uh, 31 which i got and i will do it i will craft it for 100 silver because it's not legendary and it's just regular special tower I will have my new tower. Yeah, this is my new stun tower. Okay, that's fine. One from four. I am pressing for upgrades. I am pressing fuse, which is already done. And as you can see, I can go and use enchants, which is the best way to do it if you don't have shards. But I do so. I don't want to do this or these ones, but I don't want to do this neither. Because these were for uh, for um, a rare or uh, for um, for special, but these were for epic, which is more than <laughs> special. So sorry, I just done this. You go in here, you are looking for this. Right now, if you count there, this is twenty six shards and it's required me only five shards for a uh, tower which mean five equal to three is 15 so i will lose my whole 11 shards which are another two towers don't do this you will lose 11 shards and in the leagues it's really 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 hard to get them shards i was struggling till i get this tower but I'm happy now because this tower is really good. This is my only one stunt tower I'm using all the time. So just consider to to do it by by, by the smart way, not by the, the 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 fastest way. What you're doing now, you craft another one. There is a hundred silver. Done. You're going down there, and you are they change your spa uh, uh, spaces because their shards are going down and you craft in another one yep this is it now you're going down there and you are crafting either sorry i lost where is it 
should be in the bottom somewhere. Hello? Hello? Hey, here. You're crafting another one. Another 100 silver. Ain't mother. Now, I have three of them. Which mean, I have four. So I'm choosing one of them, no matter which one, because I haven't put none, uh, nothing on it. And I'm doing this. See? Three towers. 15 shards. The most uh, expensive uh, cost of it is 360 silver. 100 for each one for uh, crafting it and 60 for fusing it. There you go. From from hot. Um, I have four from four. Okay, what are we doing now? We're fusing, but we are fusing our enchantments and our, excuse me, feeders. There, I have some level 9, I have some level 29, I have some level 30, 40, 50, and 59. So, they're all kind of shards. And you can see now, I can take all these four, because that red X on them mean I don't need this, because I, I will just lose them. And I can use these four to get them to level 45. There we go. Now I can evolve my tower. Cost me 255 stone, 125 water. Give me plus one tower, plus 15. Uh, um, sorry. Um, uh, plus 15 levels, plus one number of the room, and plus 3.7 percent in chance. Yes, I will do. 750 silver. Done. I have 2 million, <clears throat> which is okay. There we go. We have 4 stars, level 30, 4 from 5. I'm gonna fuse it again. I'm gonna use my feeders again. There we go. Well, too much. Taking this far. I don't need them. This will be waste. If you do this, confuse, fuse. No, I won't confirm it. Because I don't need it. <laughs> yes. There we go. Then evolve again. Right. Now it's giving me one more uh, tower. Plus 15 level. Plus one rune slot. And 0% hit chance. Which is a bit sad. But 605 stone. 300 water. And 150 air. Yeah, you can get them from the storage or from tasks, but I got them, so I'm crafting it for 2,000 silver. Right, now I have 4 from 6. I will evolve it again, because this is from level 45 to level 60. You can see the resources and the amount of resources uh, it's requiring. Again, plus 1 tower, plus 15 levels up, plus 1 uh, rune slot, 0% hit chance. I don't know why, but yeah. 5,300 silver, done. 4 from 7, going up. Now I have to fuse it to level 60, so I can evolve it. So I'm doing this. It will be a bit hard now, because I have to use my better... This is it, plus 15 levels. I don't need to press another one, because... Well, let's do it, Let, let's do it Oh, shall we? Right, now you can see, I got the mixes, which mean I don't need it. Level 75. Done. There we go. Getting that. You can see here. Now I have 30% chance to stun the creep. Plus 4.8. This main increases with level for one second. And I got some DPS, which is not matter. But you can see this plus 4.8 chance, which is from nowhere. Just for upgrading the tower. Right. Uh... This uh, I would have found is the last upgrade. I'm not too sure, or is I think there is one more which cost you 55,000 silver. I will see. You can see the resources, which are significant bigger, because in a uh, couple months ago, the highest level of the player was level 80, so they're level 75, which is a lot. Right, crafting this, it will give me another tower. It will give me another 15 levels up, it will give me another rune slot, and it will give me no 
<laughs> hit chance. Conforming? Yes, it is. There we go. Lovely. Get in there. Look at this beauty. This is seven star special stunt tower. Level 75. Now you can see it gives me only 2.8% chance, which will make this 37.5% chance. But it's okay. It's okay. Now you can evolve this. And you can evolve for 55,000 uh, silver, which is a lot. This is nearly triple and quadra amounts of this, which was for the previous upgrade. Give you only one uh, tower. Give you only one slot for rooms. Does not give you more fuse levels for this card because the maximum level is level 90. And does not give you no hit chance. So 55,000 go uh, silver, yes. There we go. Another 2.8 percent chance. Right now, when I have nine, four from nine, I can fuse this tower with this. So you can see, I can do this now because I will lose only one shard. I don't really care. I don't have to craft two more towers, but I will use this to get my stuff now you can see I have one two from the bottom five six seven eight which is okay so I have two towers from this shards here three from this enchant four from this enchant five from this enchant and if I press this it wouldn't show me but I will lose this enchant so keep on mind how much up you go in how much towers you are allowed to for every unit and just keep in mind you're not using this because they're really expensive so yeah fuse for 235 silver yes nice nine from nine now if you want to do this you want to do this for example, you can refuse. Yes, you'll get nothing. You're getting absolutely nothing. That was waste. That was absolutely waste. You can upgrade your, for example, you can upgrade this tower. Because I have 8 from 9. But I waste it. This is why I'm showing you this video because all these resources are costing stars in the shop. And you have to keep in mind how to do crafting. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is how we're doing crafting. This is how we did our uh, stunt tower. Which, I don't know, where is it? Should be on the very top. There it is. This is how you're doing your stunt tower. And let's do it at level 90, shall we? Let's do it at level 90, shall we? Yeah, let's do it. I don't think I got requirement for it, but oh look at this! Now I'm taking this because this will be waste. These are your like first two evolves from level 53 enchant, so it's a bit too dear. 360, yes, get in there. Another 2.8 percent chance done, so I have 43, 40. Oh, I have 44.2% chance to stun it. So, if you go here, it's 44% chance to stun a creep. Increases with level, but I'm maximum level, so this is the maximum of uh, hit chance I can do here. Um, fuse locked. I always do in this, because I want to. And, yes, this was it. Every time when you do this, you are completing quests, which is use 10 cards for a fuse. i done it. Plus one key, that's why I have six, 602 keys. And on my next video, I am going to show you how to actually uh, equip runes into a towers. I will pick a good tower which I'm going to use in the future or good magic I'm going to use in the future because I don't want to waste my time with 
crafting something which is useful for you or for me uh, if you like the video thumbs up if you do not comment below and let me know what I did wrong what I messed up actually if you like it and you want your friends to see it show that to them just share it uh, click any buttons to let me know you do like the video and excuse me I'm a bit hill and uh, just uh, keep enjoying this game keep playing this game uh, just keep exploring the game because as I said this game is massive I have to make another two or three videos be before I just start with the main thing which is the battles and when we start with the battles ladies and gentlemen it will be really fun because I I personally I just um, I'm doing my battle spit on the funny way I uh, have my own style which I'm wishing to every one of you I do have my own way to deal with every single boss which is up to you as well and I do want to thank every one of you for watching my videos and to of course some of you to supporting me which is really important for me I will play the game in PC in the future on Steam uh, and uh, obviously on Twitch and stuff with the live chat and commentaries but at the moment they have not improved and I do not have desire to uh, just to uh, uh, hustle my mind with unuseless stuff so this was life for it was nice to have you guys and ladies and see you in my next video which will be soon